welcome to my house guys um as we all know i just moved into a new place a cute little bachelor's apartment what do you call them studio apartments in the u.s that's what i believe they're called but this is a malawian edition of it so let's go straight into my tour so this is the main entrance into my little haven um unfortunately this place didn't come with a kitchen so i had to compromise and make myself a kitchen so if you follow me you find that this is the kitchen area i got this made by a carpenter here in chilomoni it cost me twenty thousand kwaja it's one meter by 80 centimeters and it has three shelves this is where i put all my spoons and stuff like that luckily for me there is a fence and it's quite safe so i can keep my food outside there and i don't have to worry i got this stove in limbi and it cost me i think twenty thousand dollars if i'm not sure I'm not sure but it was around 20,000 budget and these pots were a gift from my mom and everything else here I bought on the day that I went shopping which I will talk about in the other video so that's my kitchen there's a sink over there it's inconvenient the positioning of the sink is quite inconvenient but what can we do about it we have to do what we gotta do <laughs> right side here is the bathroom this didn't have a door so i had to get it a curtain made for it and rods added to the the place but um i'll tell you the prices of that when i go inside and tell you the rest of the price of the curtain adding and stuff like that but i love this it's a blackout curtain and we made it in such a way that you can't see through when i'm inside the shower so if you follow me into the shower this is the toilet basic toilet nothing fancy about it i do have a bucket because this is malawi and if water stops at least i have somewhere to store water and behind me behind me is the shower it's quite dark but yeah, the shower is not the best. It's not like the best place ever, but it works. It's convenient. We were fixing it up and that's why you see those cement patches, but it's still getting fixed. So I couldn't wait for this video. I have my bucket there and some stuff to keep my soaps. But if you continue coming this side. So here I have my living room space. I have this. This is not necessarily a table and it's not complete because I need to put a cushion on top of it. It is a storage unit. As you can see, it opens. So I keep stuff in there. I got this made for, I think, 8,000 kwach or something like that. And the chair, which is this beautiful sofa that's here that you can see. This beautiful sofa here cost me 60,000 budget. I got it made in India and I really love it because I'm going for this black and gray kind of theme. So it's cute. It's just for me and one visitor. So I can have one visitor at a time. It's COVID out in the streets. And the carpet that you see on the floor, I got at Bakari and it was 30,000 kwacha also. Need to get it washed, but yeah. It was 30,000 kwacha. I really loved the, cur the, the carpet. And then if you look at the thing that's dividing my room, which are these curtains and this curtain are the same these came together with the curtain railings that i have in the bathroom so it was four thousand per meter to get this curtain and then the whole thing which is the rails the whole thing which is the rails the labor the getting the curtains made that cost me about fifty-seven thousand kwacha, and i think it was a good investment because 
this it literally does the things this is what i wanted i wanted for my room to be able to spread out and be something else if i have guests i should be able to block out myself if you know i'm alone i should be able to see my whole room and as you can see my bed is my bed from the previous house nothing has changed there but uh, now i went with some great beddings which i got for twelve thousand kwacha in um what do you call it in what do you i'm gonna I got it for 12,000 for Gaunjika, but this beautiful masterpiece you see here, which is my shoe case, I got this made for 18,000 kwaja and I am obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. So it has the capacity to carry about 20 shoes, but right now I have just these because I don't have many heels. So these are the heels on display and we have this. So if you don't know, I have a little business called Peachy Bonnet and you can get yourself a bonnet you can get yourself a bonnet at 5,000 kwacha because I'm always plugging my business we have black, we have brown, we have Ankara so I have this here to just remember that I have a little business and it's cute so it's cute there I have scented candles which I bought at K, uh, K99 and yeah, this is just the shoe place which I'm obsessed with with where I keep my clothes I don't have a closet and I don't have space to keep a closet so I have this clothes rack which I made for I think it was also 18,000 kwacha because together for the kitchen thing this thing this thing and the shoe rack was 50,000 kwacha that's all of them together so it has space to put your clothes there but I want to hang on my clothes because it has also another place where you can hang so I'm going to get more hangers these hangers are gorgeous I got them let me get let me show you one. Oh, yeah here's one I got them at K99 for 2500 for a set of 10 I think they really suit my theme because I was going for that silver and black kind of look that is my whole house the mirror is the mirror that you know from my previous uh home i'm gonna get it painted black so that it can match everything else in this house and basically that is it i hope you enjoyed the moving series i hope you got enjoyed learning what it is like to move in malawi and look for a place and get it renovated and done so yeah this is the after fully furnished studio apartment tour if you like this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one